Carla Kroll, Remol, Acid, Red Marini they may not mean anything to you. But they represent antioxidants, which will be explained through the following illustration. The oregano plant has spectacular effects and benefits for your body. It is an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and fights against viruses and bacteria. Some even use it as an oil to treat wounds. In this discussion, we will explore the simplest explanation of how this super antioxidant works in your body, including how it acts molecularly in your cells and atoms, whether you use dried leaves or fresh leaves or oregano oil. As a relative of mint, this olive green herb should be a part of your diet. I will also share how I use it and conclude with my thoughts on oregano. Olive oil is a great way to prevent oxidation. It's also rich in antioxidants, which are essential for your body. Studies have compared oregano with over 20 different types of herbs and found that it is one of the herbs with the highest concentration of antioxidants. In fact, there is a laboratory study that shows that oregano has four times more antioxidants than blueberries per gram. Although it's not realistic to eat the weight of blueberries in oregano, it's still interesting to know. Now, let's understand how oxidation affects our cells and how antioxidants prevent it. Atoms, which make up everything in our bodies and the universe, produce proteins, lipids, DNA, and many other things. As shown in this illustration, atoms have little balls floating around them called electrons. When an atom is missing an electron, called a free radical, it's called an oxidation reaction or chain reaction and when these free radicals roam throughout your body stealing electrons from other atoms they become complete again. This is a simplified explanation of free radicals but gives you an idea of what happens on a molecular level. Free radicals are a type of chemical that can damage your body. They're produced when your cells produce energy, and they steal electrons from other molecules in order to do so. When free radicals steal an electron from an atom, they cause the atom to become incomplete and it goes on to steal another electron. This causes the destruction of your proteins, DNA, and lipids leading to a chain reaction of oxidative events and ultimately causing damage to your cells. You can see this damage in a sliced apple left on a countertop for 30 to 40 minutes it turns brown because it rusts just like our bodies do when we age. When your DNA is damaged, it can lead to cancer. If not repaired properly, the proteins in your cells stop working correctly and die, they literally die. Similarly, when lipids oxidize in this chain reaction, which happens naturally, cells die as well. So how do we prevent this from happening? The answer is simple, eat antioxidant-rich foods such as fruits and vegetables every day. Antioxidants are substances that can fight free radicals and neutralize them. Free radicals come from the body's normal metabolism, but you can also generate them yourself. When you breathe, your cells breathe, and the mitochondria within your cells breathe, they emit free radicals and in exchange obtain energy. Also, what you eat generates free radicals those toxic substances that you ingest, cigarettes you smoke, if they're not filtered, inadequate exposure to the sun generates free radicals that directly damage your DNA and some agrochemicals. Antioxidants are vital because they can give an electron to the free radical. When it gives an electron to it, that free radical ceases to be a free radical that steals electrons from other atoms. This means it stops damaging your proteins, lipids, fatty tissue, DNA, your genetic material, stops aging and destroying those cells. Antioxidants are found in fruits and vegetables, like apples or bananas, green tea, red wine, dark chocolate, soybeans, nuts, olive oil, fish oils, berries, blueberries are especially good, kale. Oregano is an antioxidant that protects your body against free radicals. It also has antibacterial properties, which makes it a great way to fight off infections. Oregano has been used in traditional medicine for thousands of years. In fact, it was one of the first herbs ever discovered by Western scientists. But what are these benefits? Well, most of them haven't been proven in humans although I'll mention some. But let me tell you about one benefit, oregano extracts or oils have been used in the laboratory and given in large doses against cancer cells, especially colon cancer, and it was seen that these cells die or their growth is neutralized. This is how important it is in relation to bacteria and viruses. Oregano oil extracts were put back in the laboratory to see if it could neutralize these viruses and bacteria. And it was seen that more than 20 types of bacteria are neutralized with oregano extract or parts of oregano. It's. Although this cannot be extrapolated to humans, meaning what happens in the laboratory does not necessarily happen in our body, we have said that oregano is a powerful antioxidant and we know the benefits of taking antioxidants. Now, what are the most likely benefits of oregano? There are mainly small studies showing that consuming adequate amounts of oregano daily can reduce coughing, although this has not been proven as an absolute truth. 
There are small studies showing a relationship between the consumption of oregano capsules, oregano oil, dried oregano, or fresh oregano and a decrease in coughing. There are also very small studies that do not have absolute strength of evidence showing that oregano may improve digestion. Doctor, I do not use oil for wounds. Well, let me talk about the oil, which does not have enough evidence to prove that it improves wounds. But we know one thing, in the laboratory, oregano oil extract can destroy bacteria and viruses. Therefore if you apply it to the skin then it can serve as an antibacterial and antibiotic. I cannot recommend this to you because there is not enough evidence. But you know what? In summary, as a first point, oregano is safe. Do you know what they showed in studies? Consuming oregano daily and in small amounts, a pinch in your food, on pizza or whatever, is safe. It's a safe food. But it's also cheap, tasty, available, and easy to get. Do you know how I use it? Although there is no difference between the dried leaf we know and the fresh leaf and oil, the best form for me is always fresh food, fresh leaf, and crushed in a mortar to get more flavor and allow you to obtain all its benefits. Number 2. We don't know if it will help with cancer or cardiovascular diseases or aging we still don't know that but what we do know is that consuming antioxidants such as fruits, vegetables, especially red fruits like strawberries, olive oil exercising reduces stress sleeping well reduces oxidants improves quality of life reduces cardiovascular diseases. Oregano oil is a powerful anti-inflammatory. It's also an antioxidant, which means it helps protect your cells from oxidation a process that causes inflammation. Oxidation is what happens when electrons get stolen from molecules in the body and then passed on to another molecule, creating free radicals. Free radicals can damage cell walls and DNA, causing inflammation. So by reducing oxidation, you'll help protect your cells from damage that leads to chronic inflammation. Oregano oil is extracted through steam distillation of oregano leaves. This process preserves the essential oils in the plant while removing any unwanted compounds or impurities so that you're left with just what you need, pure oregano oil. You can buy it in capsules or tablets at health food stores or online if you don't have access to fresh oregano leaves on a regular basis, I recommend buying fresh oregano leaves whenever possible. As you might have heard, there are many studies that have found that oral bio-oregano oil can help with a variety of health conditions. However, these studies are very small and don't provide conclusive evidence that it's an effective treatment for certain diseases. The best way to obtain the benefits of different foods is in a natural way and always remember to consume antioxidants. Having a healthy lifestyle will improve all types of conditions and even your mood. So what are you waiting for? Increase the amount of antioxidants in your diet by consuming more fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. I hope this talk has been helpful and informative. Please let me know which part of the world you're from so we can answer any questions or concerns you may have. Sending you a big hug from our part of the world. Bye-bye.